Good morning and welcome back to my channel and today in the series of my to August 2023 Q cards and the Q card number 11 is talk about an occasion when you got an incorrect information. Uh, if we talk about uh, the today's world because of the advancement of technology, it's quite easy to get any kind of information via internet, via various kind of websites. There are so many websites available, some are official and then some are unofficial. Uh, so the, the same thing happened with uh, we all of us after the completion of our 10 plus 2 exam we all friends were excited to go for the picnic we planned to uh, went for the picnic for around four days and for that like we have already booked uh, some 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 of the rooms in the hotels in Kasali. as we were four friends we were planning to go and uh, when the moment we went there we came to know that that was a big blunder. There was no booking in the hotel. The name of the hotel uh, was Kasoli Hotel. But <clears throat> upon reaching there, we came to know that there is no booking. Yes, hotels exist, but there is no booking. That was the incorrect information. And uh, that was a big blunder because we had already paid 50% in advance. Oh my God. That situation was such a terrible because at that time it's not possible for us to arrange a thing at the same time, arrange accommodation. Because we moved there, we reached here in the evening, so there was no any other source where we could stay. Oh my god. We all people, we all friends were um, like shocking and we just looked at each other. Uh, no doubt, uh, like we had the car, but the, the car was not comfortable to sleep. So we just uh, left the thing. Before leaving the things, we tried to check the same website. But when we visited the website, visited the net, there was no such kind of website. That was a great scam. Uh, we came to know that uh, the first time what the scam is. So like uh, anyhow, we have reached here, so we were not able to move to the home at the same time. So that's why we decided to find the accommodation. Uh, some of my friends go move there, some I moved somewhere else. At last, we reached at Gurdwara Sahib. Uh, that is a famous Gurdwara over there in Kasoli. We reached here, we stayed some time over there and uh, we felt relaxed. Yes, thank God, finally we have got a place for the accommodation. So that was the occasion when we got some wrong information via internet. And after that, I suggested my all of the friends before getting information, they must visit some uh, good kind of sources. They, they must not uh, visit some fake kind of sites and uh, they must check the sites before visiting uh, that website. So that was the occasion uh, that I think could say that that was a big scam for us. What kind of professions are there that provide the information to others? Mm, well, uh, this teaching profession is a profession that always provides the information. But here I would say that uh, front desk managers or uh, some of the call centers means if you want to get the direct help, there are some front desk managers are there or receptionists are there that provide you the information and if you visit online some websites are there or maximum you can have a conversation via internet via phone so uh, like, uh, the job as a receptionist or the front desk managers are the people who provide you the provide the information uh, at the front end what is the difference between giving information via phone and email well, there is a great difference. Uh, the first of all is when you're getting information via phone, you're able to communicate with a friend. It's a two way. You're asking the question and on the other hand, you're getting the answer. But via email, uh, that's a single way con conversation. You <clears throat> just put the email, you just send the email and you get the answer. The answer may be after like a day, after few hours. But email, uh, like uh, current communication, is an official communication because the language you're writing uh, that is official, that is academic, uh, as well as uh, like you always have proof. No doubt there is a proof of uh, some phone calls, phone recordings are there, but the uh, the records of email is much more solid. 
So that's the difference between them. Uh, the, uh, the conversation via email and so as form. <clears throat> How can people check whether the piece of information is correct or incorrect? Well, uh, that's a great question and uh, here I would like to suggest as per my experience uh, uh, yes, first of all, people most of the time get the information via internet from various kind of websites. Before visiting the website, they must look whether the website is original or not. Original means to say that uh, if you want to get information, any kind of exams, and suppose you are writing, uh, means you want uh, you want information about Punjab School Education Board (PSCB), and you are just writing the same thing in the Google, but if the website that is available in the front in the, at the first row that is uh, uh, something else this means that is not a true source you must uh, v before visiting the website you must uh, see what the website is and secondly you must also see whether the information is provided by some good kind of author author means uh, the writer who is given the information or information must be from the good sources like website that includes .org, .org is an organization, .in is an India or if you are searching the information over some kind of uh, international sites or international uh, like, uh, websites then there must be linked. For example, you are searching uh, information about Australia then uh, the website link ends with .au. For example, education.au, or if you're searching uh, for Canada, then the internet, the website link finish with .ca. CA means Canada. So these are some of the like uh, pieces of information where you can get the correct information. And yes, last question: Do you think people trust information online? Yes, unfortunately, people trust information online for various reasons because they think so that whatever the information is available on Google, that's also that is always correct. Uh, as uh, means if we talk about the the category of people, the literate illiterate people, I mean the they think so that whatever the form they are going to fill online, that is always a public site because they are not able to differentiate the public or some private websites. But on the other hand, some uh, literate people are also there. They trust such kind of information because they have uh, they have already trusted. They have already uh, like uh, uh, gone through such kind of website and they find the information of their choice. So that's why they trust information. Yes, very few people are there who do not trust, and uh, those people either are uh, the scammers or they are quite literate in technology they, those people do not trust the information all the time information so that is a like a big reason that is a big difference that some people trust the information and some people do not so that's the end of uh, your test sorry that's the end of uh, the topic number 11